Good morning. Today we are going to study about hidden Markov model. This hidden Markov model is a probabilistic model. Already you know about probabilistic and Bayesian rule. A hidden Markov model is a probabilistic model that consists of a sequence of hidden state each of which generates an observation. That is a hidden Markov model is a probabilistic model that consists of a sequence of hidden state. What is hidden state? Hidden states are sort of intermediate snapshot, intermediate snapshot of the original input data. So I show how to uh, uh, so the hidden layer. Hidden layer is nothing but hidden state is nothing but processing of the input to get a proper output. So how the hidden layer will be? So I am drawing here. So input data, input. Here I put the input data. This is all the input data. So here is the hidden layer. Hidden layer is nothing but it is a process of the input. So this is the process of input. So in one input has many hidden layer as we want. So this is the output. So this is the input. This is the processing of input. This is the processing of input that is called hidden layer. Hidden layer. So what whatever we do at a given step and they can only be computed by looking at data at the previous time steps. The above one is hidden state. Next, let's see what is Markov model. So, hidden state is we know. Hidden state is processing of the input. Uh, looking the previous step, it will convert a computer by using the previous step. Then, what is Markov model? Let's see what is Markov model. This Markov model is used to do, listen, this Markov model is used to do, predict the future behavior of some variable. So, Markov model is used to do, predict the future variable, future behavior of some variable based on the current state. This means that at any given time, the next state is only dependent on the current state. Next state is only dependent on the current state and it is independent of anything of the part. Only it is dependent on the current state. So, and the HMM is one of the concept of machine learning and classification. Machine learning and classification. The Markov models are based on Markov process or Markov chain. These models are called as finite Markov models. These models are called as finite Markov models. Basically, it follows finite state machine property. The finite Markov models follows finite state machine property. Be what is finite, uh, finite state machine? A finite state machine is a simple state machine. It is a mathematical model of computation. It can be exactly one of a finite number of state at any given time. This finite state machine can change from one state to another. So, see finite transition diagram. So, here are three state is here. The finite state transition machine what will do is it can change from one state to another in response of some inputs. This that change from one state to another state is called transition. The changes from one state to another state is called transition. So next, property of Markov process is that probability of subsequent states depends only on the previous steps. Already I said the Markov hidden Markov model is only dependent on the previous step. 
which means current state. So that is the probability formula. So this is the probabilistic formula. Listen, P of SK plus 1, this line indicate the dependency of SK. So here SK plus 1 is, how to read this? Probability of SK plus 1 is dependence the SK. So SK is the current state. This is very important. SK is the current state. SK plus 1 is the next state to XK. So which means this is the previous state. This is the doing state. Got it? So since that is why we say probability of subsequent state depends only on the previous state. Since it never depends on any other state probabilities, it is called memoryless process. So let's see. And this is the two more. Hidden Markov models (HMM) are a class of probabilistic graphical model that allow us to predict a sequence of unknown variables, which means hidden variables, from a set of observed, observed variables. We are going to see one example. So here is the example. So this diagram, this diagram shows that this diagram shows them finite transition machine diagram. Let's see the diagram. Here we have three states. S1, S2, S3 are given here. And through transition they are connected. Through transition they are connected. Probability of transition also mentioned here. This is that this numerical value is probability of transition are also mentioned on the connection. From this diagram we can derive transition matrix. From this diagram we can derive transition matrix. So you know matrix has rows and columns. So these are the rows, these are the columns and these are the rows. So here is number of state is 3. So what are all the number of state? S1, S2 and S3. So S1, S2, S3 is a column name and S1, S2, S3 is the row name. So S1. So, um, transition matrix as we see that each state has a self loop. Here 3 state is there S1, S2, S3 but it has a self loop. S1 has S1 loop. S2 has S2 loop. S3 has S3 loop. So here is the probability value for each one. S1 to S1 is S1 to self loop. S1 to S1 is what? 0 0.5. Yes, 2 is S2 is 0 0.5. Yes, 3 is S3 self loop is value is 0 0.1, which is mentioned over here. Yes, next. S1 to S2 probability. The arrow will indicate arrow is must. S1 to S2 probability is 0 0.3. S1 to S3 probability is 0 0.2. S2 to S S2 to S1 probability is 0 0.1. S2 to S2 already uh, we mentioned. S2 to S3. S2 to S3. S2 to S3 probability is 0 0.4. And likewise, S3 to S1 is 0 0.7. S3 to S2 is 0 0.2. And the self loop is 0 0.1. Each element, each element, here, each element defines, each element defines probability of occurrence of that event. You know the adding probability value should be less than or equal to 1. So, each, that is here represented the below 1. Each element defines probability of occurrence of that event or percentage of occurrence. So, it is nothing but the probability of occurrence. For example, that initial state is S1. Correct. So, see, here, um, this transition matrix, this finite state uh, types of probability used to specify Markov model are two types. Here, transition probabilities and initial probabilities. So, what is transition probability and initial probability? Uh, for example, that initial state is S1. So, initial state is S1. 
what is the probability of the next state will be plain is if suppose the initial state is s1 the what is the probability of next state may be s2 or s3 or this self loop s1 so yes S1 to S1 has how how many percentage of probabilities occur? 50 percentage. S1 to S2, 30 percentage. S1 to S3, 20 percentage of possibility of being S3 will be next day. So these values says the percentage or probability of occurrence occurrence of that event. So to understand the Markov process, we need know this probability. So here two probabilities are used. One is transition probability and another one is initial probability. What is transition probability? Transition probability has one formula that is denoted as Aij. Aij equal to probability of Si dependent on Sj. So Si dependent on Sj. Wait a second. Yes, say dependent on S J. So S J is that current state. So one second. P of S K plus one. This is a next state, not a previous state. Next state. So see here the transition probability denoted as Aij equal to probability of Sa dependency Sj where Sj is the current state, Sa is the next state. Initial probability. Next initial probability. Initial probability is the next probability. So it which is denoted as pi i which is denoted as pi i. Pi i equal to probability of Sa. Phi A which is equal to probability of SI. SI is the current state. Initial state of probability. See example. So this is the important example. So here. This example is used to predict the weather pattern. Weather pattern for next given 7 days. See next given 7 days. That sequence is. Sun, sunny, sunny, rainy, rainy, sunny, cloudy and sunny. This is the 7 days of sequences. They are given the probability also. The initial probability is what? Today is sunny. This is the problem statement. They are given the initial probability. What is this? Today is sunny. Next we, they given the transition matrix. So if suppose you can draw like this also you can draw the diagram also i just to put the transition matrix only this is derived from the diagram i didn't draw the diagram mm, so here i put the matrix three sunny rainy and cloudy so rain i put rainy cloudy sunny you may be put sunny rainy cloudy i r c yes here let us assume s1 equal to rain Yes. So we may take S1, S2, S3. S1, S2, S3. So S1 is rain, S2 is cloudy, S3 is sunny. So how to write the transition probability? So what is the transition probability? Transition probability is Aij equal to P of Si dependent on Sj. Si is the next state, Sj is the current state. So first how to, this is the very important, how to write the transition probability using this formula. So first, we know the initial probability should write. So what is the initial probability is here? Today is sunny. Sunny means S3. So probability of S3. So today is sunny. We are, that's why we are writing the first probability, initial probability P of S3 into next a using this formula a i j equal to p of s k plus 1 dependency s k so that the first what is the first probability is here sunny so s3 s3 is the this one is the 
current state so this one is the the right side is the current state so sun is the current state s3 the previous one step is what s3 so here we put s3 into next what is what will have sun so sun has also s3 value so dot p of probability of this is the current state current state is what sunny so here put s3 what is the previous state it is also s3 okay this is into next you can write rain rain means r1 s1 so yes yes uh, one dependent on s3 next rain yes one dependent on s1 next sunny p of s3 sunny and dependent on s1 this rain and then p this is the current state the previous state so this is the previous state this is the current state so likewise we we write for the seven probability and this the eighth probability is the initial probability so p of sa see here initial probability p of sa is equal to pi of i so here pi we put p of s3 pi of 3 dot this is p of sa dependency as sj is called aij so a this is i this is a so a33 dot a33 dot a first put this value 3 1 so here 31 dot a11 dot a13 a dot a32 dot a23 so pi of pi 3 pi 3 value is 1 this is the initial probability so we put 1 the probability dot a33 3 3 value is 3 3 s3 value is 0.8 into next a33 0.8 into a31 a3 1 a31 0.1 a11 a11 0.4 a13 a13 0.3 a a32 a32 0.1 into a23 0.2 so multiplication values we can get the output this is the hidden markov model process this is the hidden layer processing so next application of hidden markov model is speech recognition natural language processing bioinformatics and finance so hidden markov model has completed thank you students